Hello everybody and welcome to not another Minecraft LP with me, Talibatron. Um, as you can see by my little intro, um, we've gone into the nether, we've ventured far and wide um, to find our new base and here is my new home. This is it, yep, this is my new home, it's where I'm going to live in forever. Not even got a bed, but no, I'm joking. Um, as you can see, it's a bit. That's where the portal is. Um, as you can see, it's not exact. There's a random mushroom as well, um, which is cool. That was there when I came. Um, I spawned somewhere over there. Um, so what I did is I, I went back into the Nether and moved a couple of couple of blocks further, so not to quite lose the the snowy biome. Um, popped a portal down there to see if it'd bring me out anywhere a bit better because it was a lot of hills um, and it brought me out here now I like this place because over there there's a roof forest um, which is awesome uh, I've got bits of bobs of everything else I think this is swamp um, so I'm really happy this is just a temporary kind of hut um, my real base is going to be over here, oh, as you can see, I've uh, made quite a big clearing. Um, it's took me flipping ages, to be honest, because there was a lot of dirt and stone, and these chests here are just full of like crap. Not quite full, but you know. Um, so yeah, this kind of area here is geared off. Um, where my main base is going to be well one of them <laughs> um, I'm not going to completely divulge my full plan because can I get that from here? no um, because I don't want to because I want to be a tease um, but this is going to be the kind of area um, it is going to be terraformed up around and stuff and it's I want it to look so where I've just looked there and you can see the clearing I want it to be so you can kind of only just see bits of it um, and from well, from there to be honest, these trees round here make a pretty good borderline. But I want to try and blend this in because the sheer kind of facing is not quite what I like. Um, let me go and give you another tour around where I am because over here, well, I think it's cool anyway. Um, it's just it's the way that the world's generating stuff. It's it's mental. Um. And oh, as you can see, I've been here. Look at this. It's just cut flat. I mean, if I jump in the water, you can. It's just been sliced all the way down. And I think that's quite cool, anyway. Um, I've been over there. There was a lava waterfall over there, um, which I've plugged up. Um, oh, I can't get back over. Um, so and I've, I've had a bit of a look over there and there's some pretty cool stuff um, but because my actual base itself is quite a feat in itself I will be concentrating on that more than exploring everywhere um, for the time being that is I'll do an exploring episode not long um, to clear all this has literally taken me two days it's taken me two days to clear all that there was that much stuff um, it's ridiculous but um what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a start on building the foundations of my base and once I've done it I'll be right back Ooh. right so you might be thinking Talbotron what are you doing what are you doing Talbotron what are you doing why are you so high up it's to give you a, a view of this um, I've just used some of the trees that I had to cut down when I uh, when I was digging this out, um, just to put an outline in, so you guys can see. You can see I went a bit wrong over there. Um, yeah, it's a big circle. I like big circles. Um, what I'm going to do is after I've dug my way down because I am quite high up. Um, is I'm probably going to go 
can get some of my good stuff because I do want to turn all this into grass um, all these bits of stone but my picks looking a bit worse for wear um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you back to spawn now because there's something there I want to show you as well um, there's a couple of things there I want to show you actually um, so I'm gonna head back to spawn and run through the plan um, you can see there's a load of sand around here and basically I'm just gonna pillage it because you can probably you can probably already guess what I'm going to make. Um, I'm making a massive what? Ah, oh, oh, come on, get out the get out the portal. There we go. Um, I'm making a massive dome, massive glass dome. Um, but that's not all. I'm going to need a cack ton of glass because off this dome, there is going to be four smaller domes. Um, which I'm going to have all different sorts of stuff in. Um, the main dome is going to, the, the one that I'm building now, that's going to have stuff like my portal in, so I'm going to have to move my portal eventually. Um, probably a little house for me to sleep in, uh, some sort of storage. Um, the other domes, uh, one is going to be full of food, for food, so like I'm going to have a wheat farm in there, potato farm. As you can see, voodoo bids carried on with all the street lamps. Um, and he's left me a little present. Um, thank you, Voodoo. Um, so yeah, so that's going to be. Uh, each dome is going to be quite topical. So like, I'll design it in the style bridge cow. I'll design it in the style of what's going to be in there. And he's also made us a path. Look at this. Off the beaten track. Into the fishing hole. He's a good and his Voodoo beard. But um. Yeah, I'm going to stop dawdling and just get on with what I'm supposed to be telling you. Um, each small dome is going to uh, be designed in a way. So one's going to have my mining set up in. So, move to you too. So I'm going to be using a lot of kind of cobble and stone and stuff to sort of design said um, dome. It'll still be a glass dome, but like the way I do it, it'll be very kind of cold and industrious and you know dark whereas the kind of um, food side of things will be very barnyardy and farmy so it'll be green and nice and colourful and then there'll be like a water area and such and so on and so forth well I haven't decided what I'm going to put in the other two yet but I know I want another two um, but it's a sad day our friend is gone. Voodoo Beard came on the server. Noticed there was two bits of carpet missing each side here. And he's been killed. We believe. <gasps> he's got a donkey! He's got a donkey! I want it. Ah, oh, now I'm jealous. I want a horse. But yeah, sorry, back to the sadness. Um yeah, so our little friend here's died. Um we don't know how. Um it's just as random as our nether resetting and our zombie XP farm burning down. Um don't know how it happened. Not got a scooby doo. But uh we will rebuild and although It'll never be the same. We will miss him. Um, actually, what I might do is this. Uh, where are we? Have I got any smooth stone? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And yes, I do. Right, so <sighs> mm, that's going to be too big. Let's try and make it two by two. That's probably better. 
Um, as you can hear, my phone is going off. I do apologise for that. Um, Let's see if I can just catch. No, well, let me catch the edge. Um, I'll do it this way then instead. And hit. Now, that's the complete opposite of what I wanted. The Minecraft gurus are not my friends today. Not at all. How am I going to... Right, I'm just going to have to uh, actually do it properly rather than try and bodge it. <laughs> Which I am so used to doing. There we go. This is probably only going to be temporary because it's massive. It's just a... Oh, for God's sake. The worst person in the world. Here lies Mr. Villager. 2013. 2013. He died. So we could ah oh, could be oh my god phone be zombie free. he deserves. Thank you, Mr. Villager. Thank you. Right then, guys, quick update. Um, while I've been away, I've been busy building this little thing just to start sorting out some glass for me because I'm going to need an absolute load. Um, it's going to be such a big project in the sense of how much glasses it's going to use that I don't think there's going to be enough sand on the game. <laughs> um, it is a worry, but there we go. Um, I've got all my stuff here. Right, I need to start turning these all into dirt blocks so it can all be grass. Oh dear. But yeah, I'm going to need so much glass. It's not even going to be funny. At the minute, uh, Voodoo Beard's been on here. And uh, he was having a look at my circle. And uh, he said, well, it was night time and I was digging sand. And he was round here just having a look. And and he said this bit at the minute was like a mob arena. Um, because there's no torches in the middle. So everything just spawns in the middle. So <laughs> it wasn't great, really. <laughs> um, he seemed to do alright, though. He didn't die. Which makes a change. We are both on 2-2. Two, two. Oh, no, hang on. Ah, oh, I just thought we were on 2-2 two, two for deaths, but I died off camera not long back. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I wonder if there's any way you can fit a death counter onto this server. Because that would be interesting to see. But, um, oh, do you know what? I've gone through so many shovels just trying to get sand. It's unbelievable. I don't know whether to try and enchant a diamond shovel, level 30 to just just for just for this, just for getting the sand together, but I don't know if it'll be worth it or not because I just ugh, it's a diamond and it's only a it's only a shovel. I might as well keep using stone ones, but I don't know. But yeah the plan is to have all this middle bit glass that uh, glass grass um and like like I say my glass dome over the top. Um there's gonna be a couple of glass domes in and around the area, which is why I need a hell of a lot of glass, each one separ separated by a tunnel. 
um, it's all going to be all enclosed from the outside world. Um, so relatively mob proof as long as I light it up properly. Um, which was my goal really. I don't want creepers blowing up my stuff. Um, zombies and stuff I don't really mind. Well, I, I mind them, but they're easy enough to deal with. You just smack them with your sword and they die. They don't really do any collateral damage. Oh. You live. I was going to kill him, but I've decided he can live. Um, yeah, zombies don't really destroy the area much, so... Oh. What are you saying? What are you saying? You're saying nothing. That's what you're saying. You're saying nothing. Bitch. Um, so, zombies and skellies... Yeah, they hurt you, but... They're not going to start breaking my stuff, which is cool. But creepers, oh, I'm dreading a creeper stumbling into my base. Especially with it all being glass, it's not got very good blast protection. So if it goes up and it takes half a wall out, I'm not going to be happy. No more, look, I'd get a charge creeper as well. One of the big nasty ones. So, steering well away from them. Um, But I've got enough dirt to do this, let's be honest, because the amount of dirt that I got from digging this out in the first place was ridiculous so shouldn't be too much of a problem it's just going to take time getting the grass to spread across it although hopefully it doesn't take too long I'm, I'm keeping optimistic but yeah I'll give you an update once I've started um, putting the edges into my because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have like a layer of I don't, know where, I don't know what material to put but I'm going to have a layer on where these are these aren't going to remain this wood. Um, I want a layer of either stone or stone brick. Then I'll put another layer of stone and stone brick. So it's kind of like that. And then on top of that, it'll be the glass. Um, and in corner, in the corners, I'm going to be doing like some kind of stone supports as such. Um, because I don't want to just have like a random dome. As if I've got no grass on me. Oh well, um, yeah, I don't want to just have like a random dome in the middle of nowhere. I, you know, I want it to be like have support, so it looks like it's been built. Um, I suppose is the easiest way to say it. And yeah, I, but again, I don't know what material to do it out of the best, or just do it out of stone or stone brick. Or um, I've had a bit of a play in creative, and stone brick is at the minute looking like my favourite. So chances are it will be stone brick. But once I've got started, I'll lay a couple of layers out and I will show you on camera where I've got to um, it's going to be such a big project I'll probably do a lot of it off camera and just keep jumping in and showing you where I've got to so if it's really kind of choppy episode with a load of cuts then I do apologise but please understand that I don't think you want you know, 40 minutes of me walking around just going, and I place this block here, and I place that block there, and I place this block here. Because, I mean, my voice is boring enough to listen to at the best of times. So, <laughs> the least I can do is try and bore you with the, the really boring detail. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Getting overexcited. Uh, yeah, the least I can do is bore you with the ridiculous details. So, I'll get this done. Ah, I'll get a couple of layers. I'll probably put a layer of the, the stone all the way around and then a layer of glass and I can kind of show you what it should look it should look like um, and hopefully you guys will like it so I'll see you in a bit right there we go it's all starting to take shape um, everything's all grass and um, that took a lot longer than I thought as well um, and I've put started putting the walls in and this will be kind of the base level before it starts doming I thought doing it four blocks high um, so it'll start doming across now into the middle. Um, I've kind of put a little makeshift door in here. It's not really safe because things can still climb over the edge and stuff and you can jump over here but it's something at least. Um, these will be stone bricks to make it look like support beams. I've got one there and one there so there's two on each side um, and they'll all meet in the middle. Um, hopefully into like a big kind of circle like a smaller circle so it looks like it's kind of holding it all together and looks pretty cool I'll it won't just be stone brick I'll throw bits of glass and maybe some glowstone in there to uh, 
add effect. Um, let's just sleep. But yeah, I'm I'm probably not going to do any more on camera today because there is so much to do, and it's just a case of just waiting for stone to smelt and you know waiting for glass and all that kind of stuff. And it's not really stuff that you want to see me go. Oh, and here's another piece of glass just come out my furnish, and oh, here's another piece of smooth stone. I'll have to turn that into a brick. Oh, isn't it exciting? I don't want to be that type of guy. So I'll just give you a show of how much I've got going in at the minute. I need so much more sand as well. Oh, um, where's that going? That's how much sand. That's how much smooth stone I've got going. Oh, I need to, oh, I need to get some more lava. Um, as you can see, I've used up most of my glass reserves just doing that already. So <laughs> it's not great, really. But I'll leave this ticking over, and hopefully it'll give me enough to carry on and at least make a big of a difference so that hopefully next week I'll either have the dome done or as near as damn it fingers crossed anyway but guys I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you did please it would help a lot if you could leave a like rating um, I don't like to ask but you know it is nice if you do like it to leave a like rating um, I don't want to keep begging for likes I don't want to be that kind of YouTuber but it does help um, but guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're happy with what I'm doing with my little clearing in the woods um, and I hope you stick with it to see me finish this project all the way through to the end um, thank you for watching guys and peace